Alright, welcome back guys once again and today I'm going to tell you that how I created this note tree that you can create multiple notes over here into the boxes or separately from the boxes and you can start using your project or whatever you want to do inside that. So what you can do inside like if you want to connect this note with this one so you can do like this. So this one I'm going to be created and also you can remove the connection. This These notes also going to be inactive. So this kind of thing also if you want to can make the connection so you can do this and you can remove this so you can do this and you can do this so that's the thing you can do and also so so i'm going to tell you like how i did that and also i'm going to provide this record like this code like how i did this so i'm going to provide this code into the github repository you can clone it from there and also you can use it so it's very easy and also I haven't used any kind of full library. I just use some packages for making this thing. Like I've used a package for React drag React Dragable. So for dragging each and every element. And also I use a, a package X arrows that is creating a this node connection that one i'm using so i'm going to guide you everything into the code and i'm going to i'm not going to write the code today but i will guide you each and everything properly and that's you it gonna make you understand better otherwise i'm going to write this code into the next tutorials okay so let me so let me take you dive into the code so if you see so this is the single component that i have written and everything is running from this component okay so let me take you let me close uh, all other things oh sorry so let me just open this x arrows and this is the single component that is running all the things that you are whatever you are seeing over here okay so uh, if you see this box array this is the data structure of rendering those elements so if you see box one and this there are some child element of this box one also there's box two and there are some child elements of this box two box three and box four and so on so you can increase the boxes over here as per your choice so box one box two box three inside this box one you can see there are four child elements so each and every have you know, boxes i have already put four element four child elements but uh, if you want to append some more so you can do this this is not a dependency there is no any kind of dependency over here it is uh, totally dynamic okay so what i'm doing i'm just mapping this box array into the return of this component okay so first what i did i just made a uh, like this is the this is a uh, container so i have given some canvas style property to this container and after that i just use this x wrapper so what it x wrapper does if you want to connect e, uh, any element like uh, if you have some element that they have some id and if you want to connect those elements with the on the basis of their id so you need to wrap those elements inside this x wrapper so that's i did i wrapped into the x wrapper so this is the parent component inside this i map all the box array and what i need to do if i need to make the boxes draggable so i use draggable and this is what i put the handle key over here on drag if i need to this is the callback function on drag or on stop so on on drag if i need to run some other specification and also on stop if i need to run some other so i can do it over here and also so you can see i'm map, mapping this boxes over here and inside this I, it's returning the item so item sorry and so you can see i have created little by little bit like a structure over here dom element so you div h3 h3 is a item dot id and right now and you can see i'm mapping the children's over here so inside this children you can see i have made this element structure and uh, div elements so just like this so whenever you will click on so let me guide you how this how these elements getting active and inactive and how the connection is going between them so that's how it done so you can see set endpoints so whenever you will click on e any element so whenever you will click on this element or this any element inside the boxes so it will call this function set endpoints 
if you go into the set endpoints what i am doing over here first i am doing e dot stop propagation like i don't want any kind of propagation over here also i am having the event and id id is like element id and event what where where this uh, function got called on which element so what i am doing i am first checking that i have created a state with the name of point if there there's a two key inside that state start and end okay start and end key okay so first i'm checking if point dot start if there is any if there is already any element inside the start key and if the start key is not equal to that id then it gonna comes inside this condition otherwise it will go into the else condition and it will set the state with the start key start with id and it gonna make that element active so i'm doing e dot target dot classes dot add active so it gonna be make active okay so and also the next time whenever we will click on another element so it's going to be check this condition if this condition going to be true it's going to make this end id and on after this setting that state point state what i'm doing i'm just making that element active and i'm setting the connection as well setting the connection state as well because i have already have i already have the start point but uh, and already i got the end point as well so what i'm doing at the moment of time i'm setting the start and end id inside the connection and whenever i update this connection it's going to be mapped over here so if you see x arrows in, i'm mapping over here and i'm providing the start and end point to this so uh, as much as i will get the connections like uh, connection it's going to be mapped over here and it will automatically has the document element with their start id and end id and it's going to be rendered over here okay so if you see this is like this node is fetching the start point and end point in inside this whole document and making a connection between them so that's the thing x arrow does so if i click on this cross button so it's going to be remove the activeness of these box uh, elements and as well as this edge so how i did that so i just put a label in the between of this edge so you can see i uh, this is the i like icon tag and i provided some in this class and also i just added a all callback function over here so on click of that icon i'm removing the connection so how i'm removing so if you see there's a function written over here remove connection so what i'm doing i have created a state where i'm setting the connection data i'm just cloning this one and i'm started finding that item whenever i click on that remove item like whenever i will click on any edge uh, cross button of any edge it's going to be return me a item like data of that edge so it's going to be return me and i'm going to find that data inside that state and i am removing that edge data from that state okay and i am updating the state over here also i am removing the element classes like active classes from here and it's going to be removed everything from the into the canvas so if you see if i am clicking on box 5 box 13 and if i remove this so it's going to be removed over here so that's the thing i am doing over here so it's very easy and very useful uh, currently i'm just working on the implementation of like uh, if i is dragging it from here like if i click on this and try to drag it from here and if i drop it over here so it's going to create a connection on mouse move so currently i'm working on that but this is the thing i have done and i was playing over here so that's why i thought that i should share with you so i have already done it and you can if you want to use it somewhere so you can properly use it and i have been pushing this code you can clone it from the virtual repository link in the description so link link in the de description and you can clone it from there and if you like this video hit the like button and make sure you subscribe the channel and thank you so much bye bye i will meet you in the next video